Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit about electromagnetic induction and something called Lentz's Law. Now, you probably know that electric current flowing through a wire will produce a magnetic field. So the opposite should be true, that a magnet should be able to induce an electric current, right? It should be a reversible reaction, and it turns out that is the case. But just leaving a magnet in a coil of wire does not produce an electric current. If it did, we could just take a magnet and stick it inside a coil and leave it there and generate unlimited free electricity. And the world does not work that way. The universe does not work that way. There's a principle called conservation of energy, which tells us that if we get work out of something, then something must have put work into that system. I like to call it the no free lunch rule. You don't get something for nothing. But in this case, we're gonna to refer to it as the universe hates you. So here's how it works. If I have a coil of wire and I have a magnet, to generate an electric current in this coil, I have to move the magnet. So in this case, I'm going to stuff the magnet into the coil. Now what's gonna happen is that moving magnetic field is going to push the electrons. Now remember, when we're generating a magnetic field with, with a wire, the electrons are not static. The electrons are moving to generate the magnetic field. And likewise, we have to have a moving magnetic field to push the electrons to generate a current. But if we want to figure out which direction that current is going, we have to understand the universe hates you. Okay, so here's what's going on. If I have the south end of a magnet here, and I take that magnet, and I want to stuff that into the coil, that will generate a current. The current will, in turn, generate a magnetic field. And the direction of the magnetic field will be directly opposite to what I'm trying to do. In other words, it will try to stop me. It will try to thwart my evil plan because the universe hates me. So if I have the south end of a magnet and I stuff that into that coil, the coil's current will, in turn, produce a magnetic field that will oppose what I'm trying to do and will expose a south end towards me, resisting the motion of the magnet. Now when I take that magnet and I try and pull it back out of the coil, now I'm removing the south end of the magnet from the coil, and when I do that, what's gonna to try to prevent me from doing that? Well, a north end of a magnet. So the north end of that magnetic field here will try to prevent the removal of the south end of this magnet. And so when I pull the south end out, a north magnetic field, north magnetic polarity will be generated here, and that's how I can figure out the direction of current around this coil. If I have my magnetic field and I stuff the south end in, that will try to, it will try to produce a south end here to thwart my evil plan. As a result, I know that by the second rule, my magnetic field will be this way and my direction of current will be this. Okay, so my current is going to be going around this way, around the coil. When I pull that south end of the magnet out, then it's going to be the opposite direction. It's going to expose a north end towards me so that it will try to thwart my evil plan of pulling the south end away. Thus, my magnetic field will be this direction and my current will be this. Okay. If I have a straight conductor in a magnetic field and I grab that straight conductor and I try to pull it downwards, what's going to happen? Well, the universe is going to thwart my evil plan because the universe hates me. So, while I try to pull it down, the universe will resist that by generating an upwards motor force. So now that I know using my right hand rule, number three, right hand rule for motor force, that between those two magnets, magnetic field is going that way, current is going that way, applied force is this way, the universe is opposing me by generating a motor force against that. So the upward force means that my thumb is pointing inward to the board, and that will give me the direction of current. If I try to take that wire and I try to push it upwards, Again, the universe hates me. It will try to oppose exactly what I'm doing, so the generated motor force will be downwards, opposite to what I'm trying to do, and in that case, the force will be downward. So remember, if you want to figure out the direction of current using Lenz's law, the universe hates you. Whatever you are trying to do, the universe will try to do the opposite. 
So the direction of the magnetic field produced will try to stop whatever you're doing, thus conserving the conservation of energy and allowing you to solve your physics problems.